to bless the name of the Lord for the joy of a new month. Begin to adore his name this morning. Begin to call him those beautiful names. Begin to salute your maker. It's by his grace, it's by his mercy that we are here today. Thank God for January. Thank God for February. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for grace. Thank God for power. Thank God for anointing. Thank God for provisions. Thank God for protection. The enemy does not want us to be here, but the mercy of God says no. Begin to bless his name. Begin to bless this name. We've entered into the sixth month of this year by grace. Begin to worship his name. Thank God for everything he's done so far. We can see the victory of the Lord. We can see the abundance of his grace. Begin to adore his name. One thing I know is, maybe you don't have any reason to thank God today. You think, oh, everything you've asked for, God hasn't done. But thank God because you know where you used to be. You've been mounting higher as eagle. We bless your name. We bless your name for keeping us alive. For we know when there's still life, there's still hope. Daddy, we worship you. We thank you for grace upon our lives. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your hands of protection. We just adore your name this morning. Thank you, glorious God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 100 verse 1 says, Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth begin to shout within your spirit this morning say father i bless your name you are wonderful in every situation you are beautiful in every situation that you adore your name I thank you for the things you've done. I thank you for the things you're doing right now. I thank you for the things you, you're going to do before the end of this year. I salute you. Hey, Masato Bashanda, da, da, da. I just bless your name this morning for everything. All I can say is thank you, Jesus. All I can see is your grace. All I can see is your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord from the bottom of your heart today. You don't have the power to keep yourself even for one second. But God, it is pleases God in his mercy, in his grace to keep you. Hey, daddy, we bless your name. We adore you this morning for in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Happy new month to you. I declare to you this month of June will be a month of grace unto you in the name of Jesus. It's going to be a month like never before in the name of Jesus. For indeed, you're going to see the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, as you all know, we've started our prayer and fasting. We can't do anything without praying. And all we do in this ministry is we sow the first seven days of the month, of each month to God. And it's been working for us. It's been working. We've been receiving so much testimonies. You know, when you, you sow the first seven days to the Lord in prayer, you are sure that the remaining days of the, of the month is secured. I pray to us. I pray over our destinies today that the Lord will make a way even when there seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus, the grace of God will continually to go before us and make a way for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The theme for this season is the season of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. We are all stepping into the season of grace in the name of Jesus. We are unstoppable in the name of Jesus. This month, we're going to see the grace of God never before in jesus name before we start to pray i quickly want to talk to you about there is no grace booster amen please open your bibles with me to the book of ephesians 2 verse 4 it said but because of his great love for us god who is is rich in mercy made us alive with christ even we were even while we were dead in transgression it is by grace that you were saved amen Many of us will say, oh, I'm saved because 
I did this to the Lord. I'm saved because I keep myself holy. I try to be righteous. No, there's nothing like grace booster. There's nothing that can stop the grace of God or increase the grace of God upon your life. Once you enter that pool of his grace. You don't, it, it, the grace of God means unmerited favor. It's what we don't deserve. And once we're able to step into the pool of that grace, we step into it. There's nothing that can boost it and there's nothing that can reduce it. So I'm saying this to you this morning. There's no such thing as grace, boost, uh, grace booster. Oh, I want to boost the grace of God upon my life through my good works. I want to try to be good to God. You try, no. There's nothing that can reduce this grace and there's nothing that can boost it. Grace is a free gift to every one of us. It's what God has decided to give to us. We, we say this is a season of grace, not because oh we've not been in the grace of God, not because we've not been dwelling in the grace of God, but because we are not aware of this. But at this season, you are aware of it and you're stepping into it in the name of Jesus. This is your season to enjoy the abundant grace of God, the amazing grace of God. You are enjoying it at this season in the name of Jesus. Everything you, do, everything you need to remain in God's favor, in God's grace, is in God's hands and it's released it unto you. It's good to have good works. It's good to, to try to be good. Like I said well, during our teaching that we don't try to do anything. We do ev everything we have to do through the spirit of God that lives on our inside. You know, if you if you were not chance to listen to that to that teaching, please go to visit our YouTube channel. You you know, the Lord we uh, we expose you to things in the name of Jesus. So you will say to me today, oh, I just want to boost the grace of God upon my life, upon my children. You know, by keeping them, by by showing them the way of the Lord. These are the things we have to do. They are so important. God has called us not to sin. He has called us not to tell lies. He has called us to do the things that pleases him. But this will not boost the grace of God upon your life. You are in that grace and you are in it in the name of Jesus. This is the season for you to step into that grace and begin to dwell in that grace in the name of Jesus. And you are tapping into the anointing of that grace in the name of Jesus. You know what? It is important for us to have this unbending relationship with God. It is so important. But don't think, oh, because I do the things God has called me to do, this, will, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm so special to God because of that. No, you are forever special to God. He tattooed his name. He, he tattooed your, your name on his palm. He cares for you so much. Even while you were still sinning, Christ care for you. He loved you. So there's nothing you can do that can increase this grace. I just want you to be aware of this today, that you are in this. You are in this. You are swimming in the grace of God. God will give you the grace to do his will in the name of Jesus. He will give you the grace to obey him in the name of Jesus. He will give you that grace to please him in the name of Jesus. So because you have the grace of God, to, to you not know, to have this fellowship with God would be a thing that will be so easy for you to do. You don't struggle to serve God. You don't struggle to please God. And this is your portion in the name of Jesus. So even as you are praying at this season, I want you to pray believing that God has answered your prayer. Don't think about, oh, what I did, maybe this will stop God from answering my prayer. No. God is answering your prayer. I said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you are aware that you, you are in the grace of God, then you believe that God is answering your prayers. So even before you pray, I want you to pray believing. I don't know that thing you're asking of the Lord. I don't know the area you need God to touch. Even at this season, at this month, God is touching in the name of Jesus. But you've got to believe that God is for you. You've got to believe that as you pray, even this morning, the Lord is answering you in the name of Jesus. And God is going to places you can go and is making a way for you in the name of Jesus. Things as you open your mouth to pray this morning, miracles are happening in the name of Jesus. God is walking in, this, in the spiritual realm, setting the table for you in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Begin to bless God for the grace, for the gift of a new month. Begin to say, Father, I thank you for giving me the month of June as a gift. For I know this is my month of grace. For I know this is a special month to me in the name of Jesus. All those things that I wasn't able to achieve 
in the past five months i'm achieving this month with ease in the name of jesus begin to bless god begin to bless god for every promise is god for you in this month of of june it's bless his name this morning daddy i thank god because i can see you walking already i can see the things i can perceive the things you're about to do and i'm so ready in the name of jesus i'm so prepared in the name of jesus Emma Sato daddy will bless Bless your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to ask for the grace to sin no more. In the name of Jesus. You're going to ask that even daddy, I receive that grace to save you like never before. In the name of Jesus. I receive that grace to please you. In the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to do your will. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask God. This is the time for you to step into the abundance grace of God. Begin to say this grace is working for me in the name of Jesus. Grace is working in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to go and sin no more. I receive the grace to be close to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to do the will of God. In the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to obey God. I receive the grace to listen to God. Daddy, we bless your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to start to pray. Some prayer point the Lord has laid in my heart. So I want you to be so ready this morning for God is walking. You know that moment you, you wake up to pray. That moment you stand up in, in prayer. God start to walk. And God is walking for you and I today in the name of Jesus. We are seeing the result of this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. First Peter 5 verse 10. First Peter 5 verse 10. It says, after you have suffered a little while. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ. All, all by himself, we make you perfect, we strengthen you, we and it's going to establish you in the name of Jesus. You and I, we agree that we've suffered, we've, we've suffered enough. I don't know if we still want to continue to suffer. He said, after you've suffered a little while. You've been, we've been suffering for so long and this is our time. This is our season in the name of Jesus. He said, after we've suffered a little while, he said, the God of all grace, we, sh we change our level. We change our pos position. It's going to shift us into the pool of his grace in the name of Jesus. You're going to say, Father, I thank God for this is my period. I thank God for the period of my suffering. For it's, it's, been, it's been a period of learning. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's been a period of preparation. In the name of Jesus. Thank God this morning for the period for the period of your suffering. Because God used that to prepare you to go to the next level. That I thank God for my period of suffering. I'm not taking it for granted. I'm not just looking at the disadvantages. I, I, I tap into the advantages. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare this morning. That I, I pray. According to the scripture. You said after I've suffered a little while. That you will arise to strengthen me. In the name of Jesus. Begin to ask God this morning. Because I've suffered a little while. This is my moment to receive the strength of God. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is establishing me. In the name of Jesus, for it is written, for it is written, this is a promise of God that after I've learned for a little while, after I've suffered for a little while, it's going to move me, it's going to change my level. In the name of Jesus, begin to talk to God. In, enough of suffering. I'm walking. I'm, I'm, I'm walking. I'm stepping to my season of grace right now. In the name of Jesus. This is my season of establishment. In the name of Jesus. This is my season of strength. In the name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God. Tell Father that he established me. In the name of Jesus. I don't know that area you need the Lord to establish you this morning. For he said, I will establish you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, that he established me in every area of our life. We need establishment in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious God, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Acts 11 verse 23. Acts 11 verse 23. He said, then when, then when he arrived, arrived, 
and weakness the grace of God. He rejoiced and began to encourage them with all resolute acts to remain true to the Lord. Amen. So you're going to declare. He said, he said when he arrived, you're going to declare this morning, I have arrived in the name of Jesus. I'm now in my season of grace. In the name of Jesus. This is my moment. I'm no longer on the way I've arrived. In the name of Jesus. And I'll dwell in the amazing grace of God. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare this morning. Declare this morning. There's a change of level. In the name of Jesus. I've arrived. I see the grace of God. Over my children, I see the grace of God. Over my home, over my career, I see the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, over everything that concerns me, I see the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. In my satoba, shanda, da, 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 da. Hey, this is my season to, to experience the grace of God. This is my season to witness the grace of God. All I see now is grace. All I see now is grace. The grace of the Lord is speaking for me. In the name of Jesus. The grace of God is working for me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you glorious father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You're going to declare it this morning. Because the grace of God is upon my life, I will rejoice forever. In the name of Jesus, no more sorrow. In the name of Jesus, because the grace of God is upon my destiny, no more sorrow. I dwell in joy unspeakable. In the name of Jesus, and I receive that mantle this morning to win more souls for Christ. In the name of Jesus, I receive that mantle this morning to win more souls for Christ in the name of Jesus. Hey, I'm, I'm making use of this grace. I'm bringing more souls to Christ in the name of Jesus. That it will bless your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Acts 20 verse 20, 32. Acts 20 verse 32. It says, And now I entrust you to God. And the message of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance with all those he has set apart for himself. Amen. He said, now I entrust you to God. This was Paul talking to you and her. He said, now I entrust you to God. So you're going to declare this morning. This is my building up season. In the name of Jesus. This is my building up season. He said now I entrust you to God. And to the, to, to the message of his grace. That is able to build you up. This is my season. This is my building up season. In the name of Jesus. No more tearing down. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is building me up. In the name of Jesus. And I, I, the, the, and, and I'm now functionally in the hands of the most high God. In the name of Jesus. I belong to God. I belong to God. This is my season of building up in the name of Jesus all I see right now is God around me I don't see any trouble I don't see any limitation all I see now is God around me in the name of Jesus I see God in everything I do because I'm entrusted in his hands in the name of Jesus I see God in everything I do because I'm entrusted in his hand this is my season of building up you're gonna say father in the name of Jesus I give, Father, in the name of Jesus, you release it unto me, I inheritance, in the name of Jesus, because I belong to Jesus, he said, I'm heir to his kingdom, I receive my inheritance, in the name of Jesus, because the, because the will of God is that we enjoy here. Not to suffer. I've suffered a little while. This is my season to enjoy. In the name of Jesus. Because this is my season of grace. Begin to declare right now. I receive my inheritance. This is my season of building up. In the name of Jesus. 
no more shame, no more sorrow in the name of Jesus, no more lack in the name of Jesus I draw in the pool of the grace of the most high God all I see now is grace, all I see now is God in the name of Jesus, thank you Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed, amen Galatians 1 verse 15 Galatians 1 verse 15, it said, but even before I was born, God chose me and called me by his marvelous grace. Even before you were born, God chose you and called you by his marvelous grace. You know, I always say this all the time. It's one thing to know a thing and it's one thing to receive it. We all know about the grace of God, but unfortunately most of us haven't received the grace of God. But I prophesy to you, you receive that grace in the name of Jesus. You step into that grace in the name of Jesus. You function in that grace in the name of Jesus. So you're going to declare this morning, I step into the supernatural grace of God. This is where I belong. I step into the supernatural grace of God. I'm not stepping into this alone. I step with my whole family. In the name of Jesus, we step into the supernatural grace of the Most High God. Begin to declare it. We step into the amazing grace of God. In the name of Jesus, I'm never allowed to function outside of grace anymore. I'm not allowed to function outside of this grace anymore. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Talk to God this morning. You function. You function in the supernatural grace of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. All you do have this is you do it in grace. The grace of God is working for you. The grace of God is speaking for you. For this is your season of grace. Thank you, glorious God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Ephesians 2 verse 7. Ephesians 2 verse 7, it says, so God can point us to all, so God can point us in all future ages as example of his incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us as shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. Amen. He said, God is going to make you and high and then an example of his incredible wealth of his grace. When people see us, they see the grace of God. When people see us, they see the abundance touch of the most high God in the name of Jesus. You know, in your life, there'll never be, oh, you're serving God. How come you are suffering? That will not be your case in the name of Jesus. They, you, they, will not, they will not say to you, how come God is working for everyone and God is not working for you? You need to check it. That will never be your case again in the name of Jesus. For people will see the touch of God upon you. People you see will see the touch of God upon your children in the name of Jesus. You know? No, no, it's a thing of it's a thing of great joy when you when you tell people it's not in pride, but you tell people all I see is grace. All I see is grace. I laid my hands on that thing and God did it for me. I knocked on, on that door and God opened it for me. At your place of work, you see the grace of God. This will be your portion in the name of Jesus. You're going to declare this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm an example of your incredible wealth of grace and kindness in the name of Jesus. I'm a, an example of your grace. I'm an example of your kindness in the name of Jesus. I am an example of your favor in the name of Jesus. Whoever sees me right now sees the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Your grace is visible upon my life. Your favor is visible upon my life in the name of Jesus. Begin to talk to God this morning. I am an example of your incredible wealth of grace. In the name of Jesus. Whenever people see me, they see grace. In the name of Jesus. Whenever, whenever people see me, they see you. In the name of Jesus. Your hand of kindness is upon me. Is upon my children. Is upon my home. In the name of Jesus. Your hands of favor. Your hands of grace is 
upon my home, it's upon my ministry, it's upon my career. Begin to talk to God this morning. What I see is grace. In the name of Jesus, even when others are seeing disappointment, even when others are seeing dysfunction, all I see is grace. In the name of Jesus, the grace of the Lord is speaking for me. In the name of Jesus, the grace of the Lord is working for me. In the name of Jesus, that it will bless your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Psalm 18 verse 25 says, To the faithful, it said, To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show your integrity. Amen. You're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to be faithful in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to be faithful in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. I know we've prayed this prayer point before. You're going to say it again. Pray it with all your heart. I receive the grace to do the will of God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to please God in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to sin no more in the name of Jesus, he said it to the faithful. He showed, he showed himself faithful because you are faithful, because you have the grace to be faithful. The Lord will show himself faithful to you in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace. I receive the grace to walk in integrity in the name of Jesus. Hey, that is I pray this morning that because. You've given me that grace to be faithful. You will show yourself faithful unto me. In the name of Jesus. Because you've given me that grace to walk in integrity. You will show yourself. You will show me integrity. In the name of Jesus. Ah, daddy, you are stand, you are rising at this season to prove yourself, to prove your power in my life. In the name of Jesus, talk to God this morning. The Lord is arising to prove, to prove His power upon you because you are found faithful, because you are found obedient. In the name of Jesus, and we do all this by the grace of the Most High God. Thank you, glorious God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Psalm eighteen, the same Psalm eighteen, verse twenty-seven. He said, you rescued, you rescued the humble, but humiliate the proud. You are going to receive the grace to be humble this morning. He said, the Lord will do what? The Lord will exalt the humble and bring down the, pri the pride, the proud. So you're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to be humble. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace, every fruit of pride up in my life. I have proved this morning in the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to stay humble because it is so important to me. It is so important to you that I stay humble. I receive this grace. Every root of pride upon me, upon my home, I, I uproot it by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, he said to the humble. He said to be, he said he rescues the humble. So you're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, because I'm found humble, you will be my rescue. In the name of Jesus. Talk to God this morning. Because I'm found humble, you will help me. You, you will make, you always fight for me. You will always stand for me. In the name of Jesus. You always be with me. In the name of Jesus. That it will bless your name this morning. We thank you. We worship your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to stand in gap right now. We're going to pray for the less privileged children around us. You know, at times we complain that we, we, we don't have good food to eat. But there are so many children out there that don't even have any food to eat. At times we complain we don't have the best clothes to wear. But there are so many children out there that don't even have clothes to wear. The same as shelter. So we're going to pray that the Lord will send help to them. For this is their season of grace. In the name of Jesus. You're going to say it, Father, in the name of Jesus. I just want you to open your heart. Open your heart. Put yourself in their shoes. Say, Father, help them. They receive divine helpers in the name of Jesus. In Masato That we pray for every child suffering out there. Every less privileged child, that we pray that you show them help. Let your grace begin to speak for them. 
None of these ones will die hungry in the name of Jesus. Hey, Masato Bashanada. None of them will die in cold. You send helpers to them. Thank you, glorious God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want you to begin to celebrate God. Begin to celebrate Him for His answered your prayer this morning. Hey, Daddy, we bless your holy name. All I see right now is the grace of God. All I see right now is divine testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Ah, this month of June is secured for us. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare this month of June is secured for me. In the name of Jesus. All through this month, even above, even beyond, I see grace. In the name of Jesus. I see grace over my family, over my ministry, over everything that concerns me. All I see is grace. Begin to thank God for this. For all you see is grace. All we see is grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I pray for you today. That even as, as you step out today, the grace of the Lord will speak for you. In the name of Jesus. And you dwell under the pool of this grace. In the name of Jesus. No evil arrow is allowed to come near thee. In the name of Jesus. Evil, the evil is not allowed to come near your dwelling place. In the name of Jesus. All you see, all you see is grace in this month of June. In the name of Jesus. And all you receive is supernatural testimonies. And so shall it be for you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. I pray for you. It is well with your souls in the name of Jesus. Where others are lacking, you will never lack. In the name of Jesus. Where others are failing, you will never fail. In the name of Jesus. All you see in this month, you see God and you see grace. And so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. Please don't stop praying all through the day. Just put, just dip yourself in the in the blood of Jesus and continue to pray. The grace of God is upon your lives in the name of Jesus. And please join us tomorrow to pray. Join us tomorrow 4 a.m. We're here tomorrow again to pray. Join us. Don't be tired. The grace of the Lord is upon you. Is upon your home in the name of Jesus. Have a nice day, everyone. God be with you. Amen.